Hello, good morning and welcome to the AMUs with me, Mopisa Sibili. Now, first story, the minority in parliament says it will resist any attempts by the governing New Patriotic Party to use the police service to cow its members into submission. Now, this follows a statement issued by the majority caucus of parliament describing the speaker's handling of the police case involving the Medina MP Francis Sosu as troubling and undermining the rule of law. But the minority disagrees, alleging the executive arm of government is manipulating the NPP MPs to attack the speaker. Tamil Central MP Mutala Mohammed opines the posture of the majority caucus is embarrassing. Said that the immunity is an impunity. The, the MP has erred on the side of law. Released into the how, did, how did he err? Is this according to by whose by whose estimation? The police don't have the capacity. They don't have the capacity to determine who is on the side of the law. The only body with that capacity and the expertise to determine whether someone has erred on the side of law is. You see, do you listen to us? When we say he should be held responsible and liable, you are concluding that he committed a crime. Well, that's what the police is saying. No, that he should saying be held the responsible. police don't have the capacity to determine who commits a crime. The only body, institution, that has the capacity to determine whether a crime was indeed committed is the courts. That is the point. What we are simply asking the chief, the, the IGP, to do respect Article 117, Article 118, and Article 122. Respect them. So we now have, the MPP has saying, issued a statement saying that it's troubling. In fact, it's that that is the troubling. level of hypocrisy of this MPP group in Parliament. You see, have you read that statement? I've read the statement it is not even MPP. signed. It is not even signed. You said the majority I'm saying that it is not even. I have sought clarity from the majority. Who, who, gave, who gave you? Who give you? Gave I have spoken to the deputy majority. For and he says that Habib. it is coming from them. Exactly. That explains the level of the disaster of a state we, are, we live in, under this government that you have them who supported that decision. Mind you, this decision of the speaker was taken weeks now. Mm. They never uttered a single word. You had a member of MPP, and I listened to that member on your station yesterday, who supported the position the speaker has taken and the position of the NDC. So what has changed? What has suddenly changed? Because they have been called to the Flagstaff House. There is a design. Is there a oh, yes. There is a design by this government. That the executive there is, is manipulating. Oh, they are manipulating them. There is a design That's by... A strong that is the fact. The executive is manipulating not just the caucus, even the police. But the deputy majority leader, Alexander Afenio Markin, disagrees. He explains that the intent of the statement was to remind the House of the existing protocol in dealing with matters like this. It's a matter that I think that collectively we can manage and avoid unnecessary escalation. The speaker, I need to put on record that this won't be the first, neither would it be the last. I recall um, in days in opposition, our law firm had issues with GRE. I recall the intervention made by Honorable Dominic Ayini, the then Deputy Attorney General, in drawing attention to the authorities that they should follow due process. These were behind the scenes engagements. I was taken aback when Sosu's matter got out of hand. He's been a very respected friend, and we engaged each other and we were trying to direct him on a certain path that will not get everybody in. But be that as it may, what is out there is out there. I believe the essence of uh, Honorable uh, Ahmed's uh, position is for us to keep calm and avoid further getting the matter out of hand. Uh, on our side, I believe that he made, made reference to a statement. I believe that uh, that was before we, 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 we came to this conclusion on the way to go. But the essence of the position taken earlier was not in any way to undermine the authority of Mr. Speaker. No, not at all. You know, he's the one who presides over our assembly and the majority leadership would continue to respect his authority. 
Meanwhile, in Medina, residents are divided as to whom to throw their weights behind as the police continues a pursuit of the MP for allegedly destroying public property and blocking a highway. While some feel the police are unfairly targeting their MP, others want Mr. Sosu to subject himself to the police inquiry, especially since he is a lawyer. Kuka Santi has been speaking with some of them. Well, MP for Medina, Francis Xavier Sosu, is currently battling with the police as the police are on his heels to arrest him and have currently charged him at the court. They are expecting him to appear before the court on Monday. But we are here in the Medina constituency. This is the people he represents. want to take their views on all these. They did a demonstration about poor roads in the constituencies, which seems to have landed him in this trouble. So wanted to want to find out from them what they make of this controversy that is currently going on in the country. So let me start with this gentleman. So what, what, what are your own thoughts about all that is happening now? Do you think the police is treating your MP fairly? Well, uh, that is, I don't know about the law. Then I, I didn't know what he have done that he deserved to be in court. Probably our roads are not good, actually. We have bad roads. So if there is something covering him, like law or something, at least, there should be peace on him. Because when two elephants fight, the grass always suffered. So they should deal with the professional, the diplomatic way. Not that to handle MP in such a way that when in the mo in the church, well, I don't know law about that. Then police also bringing out some statement that they are not going to arrest him. It's a whole lot. So they need to handle it in the diplomatic way. That is it. Yeah. If what he has done is lawful, then this issue must be settled. However, if it's unlawful, then he must face the law. Because it seems they are only targeting him because yeah, he's in the opposition he party. Be lawyer. So you know how to do about that, those countries. What are your own thoughts on this? Do you think that the MP is behaving lawfully? Do you think that the police is treating him on first? Well, the, uh, like, I don't know I No, I don't know. The police are in charge of ensuring adherence to the rules. The MP should submit himself to the police and listen to what they have to tell him. He's a lawyer who should sure know how to maneuver his way around this. democracy. Democracy here in our yet here in our in future and about to my fate, you know. Until now, we want to know democracy and want to turn away in a baby and quay. What is your what are your own thoughts on all that? Oh, they are my confound, they say. I say, Ghana, no, and put to the AIP. Now, it's a soon so, and here in Pino, and also a handy the AIP and some Kajna and all Parliament. So she represents us in Parliament. If he realized there are few issues in the constituency and he led us in a demonstration, then he has done no wrong. But if during the demonstration a few things went wrong and the police have requested to talk to him, then he should avail himself. Because what happened at the church last Sunday was not proper. And in the Ashanti region, the Ejisu municipality risks losing its wetlands to building construction projects. According to the National Disaster Management Organization, the Ejisu stretch of the Kumase Accra Road could be exposed to flooding if the destruction of the wetlands is not halted. Love News checks reveal a private developer is filling the wetlands with laterate in the night. Nanao Jima has more in this report. The wetland, which spans a vast area in the Ejusu municipality, is mainly used for rice cultivation. A private developer has been filling up the wetland with laterite, despite notice of stop work. A visit by the Municipal Security Council has revealed work done so far has disturbed the flow of water in the wetland. Municipal Chief Executive Samuel Frimpon says security arrangements will be reviewed to ensure protection of the area. We agreed that our security people will ensure that 
any driver that comes around around will be arrested and once that is done the owner will also be apprehended so that is what we are going to do but in the interim we have uh, brought a bulldozer we are going to ensure that all the sun will be heaped in front of the way so that there'll be no way for them to bring additional sand and then we'll be watching both day and night to ensure that whoever comes around is arrested planning people and they tell me here is nature reserve so whether you are a chief or whatever that is not my concern you cannot sell nature reserve so this is nature reserve period meanwhile the music has turned focus at ensuring protection of water bodies as part of efforts to deal with flooding in the area. That we are not going to allow any individual to fill the waterways for his or her parochial interest. We want to protect nature reserves for posterity. So we have met here today together with all the committee members to ensure that we sound a caution to every individual to warn them that they should desist from doing this illegality. That's the more reason why we are here. For Joy News, Nana Yaojima, Echoso. Let's do the NSMQ 2021 now. Crouches Senior High School scored negative three points after all the five rounds of contest at the preliminary stages of the ongoing National Science and Maths Quiz Championship. Assistant Headmaster of the school, Emmanuel Atiomo, is blaming lack of experience for their performance as he promises a big comeback next year. Bishop Herman College, Sogakope Senior High School and Sunrise SHS have qualified for the 1-8 stage of the competition. Maxwell Abwaba has more in this report, starting with the assistant headmaster of Karchi SHS. Emmanuel Atiemu, assistant master. Well, naturally, we should be disappointed, but we have hope that next year will come up more stronger. Mm. Well, what, do you, what do you think went wrong? This being our kind of first time, uh, and they were asked to answer, you know, we were asked to answer the question first. So that put them off and it kind of set, unsettled them. Yeah. Everything I can say, this is our first time of being here in this country. This is your first time? Yes. Yeah. yes. And the National Science and Maths Yes. Oh, really? Yes. So as the questions was even put for us to answer first, okay. uh, it decreased our morale. Uh, okay. So all these things is a factor to our failure. But I hope next time, we will go and prepare where and we shall come back Surely, again. Next year we are coming with Bing. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Let's speak now to the guys from Sunrise SHS. So Sunrise SHS beat Krachi Senior High School. And then KJB Asato Senior High Technical School. Demonstrate the same performance in 2018 against Opokuari. We are waiting for them. We want, we want Prisek. We want Prisek. What should we expect? Oh, we expect you win. We expect you win, Ben. Je pense qu'on va bien gagner les les matchs de commencer. Je pense qu'on va très bien gagner le match parce qu'on est bien préparé, on est bien équipé. Et puis je pense qu'on va bien gagner. Donc on gagnera. On a la confiance, on a la foi, on a la certitude qu'on va bien gagner. Et puis on est on est confiant, on est confiant, on a, on a foi en notre team, et puis on sait qu'on va gagner, donc on ira. Hola, comment si Tu parles anglais Je parle anglais, je parle français. I can speak English. Yeah. Why did you choose to speak French Please. Why did you choose to speak French yes, I, just, I just want to show that the way they teach us, they teach us how to speak French as, soon as, as well as how we speak English. So I just want to show that to Merci beaucoup. Yeah, merci. Bishop Herman College has qualified to the next stage of the National Science and Maths quiz. You look so dull. Why? Are, are you aiming for something higher and not yeah. this part of the competition? Yeah, yeah, we are aiming for something higher in this competition. Okay. Okay. No school from the Volta region, Volta and OT regions, has ever won the National Science and Maths quiz. I'm sure you guys are aware. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
how do you guys feel about that and what do you think should be the way forward? Okay, the thing is, mm. every school in Volta region, yeah. including Oti region, is waiting on Bishop Herman to win it before yeah. they will win it. Oh, okay. That is why even Ketasco mm. has been going for the semi-finals several times but they've not been able to win it. So they are waiting they are for you guys to win before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before they win it. Wow. That's yes, because we are the leaders uh -huh. Uh -huh. of Volta region. Oh. No other school. So they are waiting on us to win it before any other school from wow. Volta region. And How true is that? Yeah. There's a saying which goes, a horse is prepared for battle, mm. but trees is obtained from God. So wow. Soldiers of Christ. As our mm. motto goes, Sikut Miles Christi, as mm. a soldier of Christ. Soldiers of Christ. Yes, yes sir. Um, for many years, or since the inception of the National Science and Math Quiz, no school from the Volta region has ever won the NSMQ trophy. Soka Copa Senior High School is promising that this year for the Volta region. We, are, we come here with Vim and we are going to win with Vim because destiny, destiny is our prosperity, nothing else. We are going to win. Education is an ornament to prosperity and a refuge to adversity. And learning to learn is a kind of learner we all need to acquire. So we are here to learn and to win. Are you a philosopher? Oh, I'm trying to be a philosopher and it's my dream, it's my ambition to be a philosopher. And that's how we end the AMUs with me on Pizza CBD. For more news, you can log into myjoyonline.com. The AM show continues.